One of the most daunting parts of starting your own business can be figuring out how to get your name out there. You could have the most amazing product around. The fact is, if your customers don't have an easy way to access, browse, and purchase from you, you'll find yourself getting lost amongst a sea of competition who is just light years ahead of you. But now managing your brand's online presence is easier than ever. With Shopify, business owners have all the tools that they need in their arsenal to handle shipments, manage stock, and assemble their online storefronts all from one place. Now, I decided to test Shopify out myself, and today I'm gonna be sharing some of my takeaways on their features, plans, pricing, and why I think Shopify's free trial could be a great first option if you're just starting out. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea of whether Shopify could be the right fit for you and your business, or if perhaps you have to look elsewhere. But if at any point you decide that you'd like to give Shopify a try, there's an affiliate link down in the description below that'll get you three days of complete free access and a three month subscription for just a buck a month, which is the best deal that I've found so far. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so if you've never heard of Shopify, they're a popular and pretty well-established and trusted e-commerce platform that offers a wide selection of tools and add-ons specifically designed to simplify running an online store. It includes a website builder, inventory management system, and a payment processing service that can support international transactions. Shopify also provides helpful marketing tools and features a dashboard that showcases your business's metrics and provides clear visualizations and insights to aid your decision-making. You can set up your brand's website, add product listings, and link them to your social media accounts all within the Shopify dashboard. Now, while those elements provide a solid foundation for supporting a business, keep in mind that every brand's gonna be different. Every company has unique demands based on its size, customer base, and physical presence. And Shopify offers a flexible range of services and products for both businesses to run solely online. Or those that incorporate brick and mortar locations as well can work with Shopify. Whether you're in need of point of sale terminals for on-site selling at permanent and pop-up sites or SEO services, and links to your store's Facebook and Instagram shops. Select the appropriate boxes to customize your experience as you create your profile, and Shopify will add all the necessary integrations into your account for you. Now, the Shopify platform can accommodate sales models for a variety of different product types. These could be products that you personally buy or make, where you handle the shipping yourself, or they could be dropship products, print-on-demand materials, or even digital products and services. But if you've never done this before and don't have the slightest idea about what to sell, then I definitely recommend that you do some research or look through some of Shopify's app integrations. App Scenic, for example, is a program that you can use to find and source products that your store can sell if you don't already offer them. And as a reminder, if any of what we've covered sounds interesting to you, you can try out Shopify completely for free through the affiliate link in the description where you get three days free and pay only a buck a month for your first three months of service. Okay, so let's move on to creating an account. You'll first need to complete a brief questionnaire about how your business is set up. Do you create the products yourself? Are you drop shipping? Do you already have a website or are you starting completely from scratch and so on and so forth? Then you'll have to choose the country that you're selling your products from. Now, if this is your first time, you should probably just pick the country that you live in. But if you already have a store, whether it's online or a brick and mortar one, you're gonna wanna choose the country where your store itself is located. So for example, if you live in Canada, but you own a store that's set up in the United States, then you'll pick the United States. Once the questionnaire is complete, you can advance to the next section where you'll be prompted to create your Shopify account. Okay, so I went and already entered my email and made myself a password, and now I'm gonna go and click on create Shopify account. And after that, it's gonna start generating an account, and then you'll see the Shopify dashboard. Now, you can click on select a plan right over there, and based on the answers to that questionnaire that they had you take, Shopify will suggest a plan to fit your specific needs. For example, if you're doing direct sales, then maybe the retail plan might work best for you because it incorporates an actual physical point of sale option if you want. But if you're just starting a new store that's meant specifically for e-commerce, I suggest opting for the basic plan, which generally covers all of the essentials for assembling and expanding your online store. Now, in my case, I went directly to the basic plan. Here on the next screen, you'll have to pay. And of course, you can also choose to pay either annually or monthly. Of course, the payment is going to be a bit cheaper if you pay yearly. But on the right hand side, you can see what the plan plan we chose looks like. So then the only thing left for you to do is subscribe. And just like that, it's going to take you back to the Shopify dashboard. And from here on out, you can start to use Shopify pretty much any way you see fit. You can start customizing themes and exploring the data and metrics available for you on the dashboard. So to sum things up, signing up for Shopify's trial
while and then moving to the basic package is definitely a smart move if you plan on starting small as you figure things out. The trial lets you test out all their features without any pressure so you can see if Shopify's services are the right fit for you and your business or not. And once you're ready and familiarized with the platform, the basic plan will give you all the tools that you need, including the website builder, inventory management system, secure payment processing, and marketing templates all in one place to help you get started on selling your product and making money as soon as possible. Okay, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you found this guide helpful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. As I mentioned before, if you wanna try Shopify, there's a link in the description that'll get you three days of free access and a three month subscription for just a buck a month, which is the best deal out there right now. And now as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. And finally guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.